Hey, don't you ever talk about anything else? Oh, of course I do. <laughs> well, surprise me then, please. Oscar, dear, you'll be thrilled to learn about lots of different holiday traditions. Each one is enjoyed in its own special way. They are celebrations you share with your friends and family, like Hanukkah and Kwanzaa. Hanukkah and whatza? Hanukkah and Kwanzaa. Both are wonderful celebrations of culture, community, and tradition enjoyed with... Wait a minute, let me guess. The three Fs. Friends, family, and food. Oh, Oscar, I do believe you're catching on. Well, just wave that thing so I can get some sleep, huh? <laughs> Grouchy boy. Our family celebrates Hanukkah, and I like to set up the menorah. It's a special candle holder with eight candles. One for each night of Hanukkah. Plus one extra candle called the Shamash. We use it to light all the others. In my family, we celebrate Kwanzaa. Every night, we light a candle on the Kanara. That's a candle holder with the candle for each of the seven nights of Kwanzaa. Are you ready to light the Kanara? And every night, we talk about one of the seven principles of Kwanzaa their ideas for how to live a good life. Tonight's principle is umoja. It means unity, coming together, getting along. Like when Tyler lets me play with his drum. <laughs> right. <laughs> My favorite part of Kwanzaa is the caramel. It's a feast on the sixth night. Kuumba, where my whole family and friends gets together and celebrates. We eat lots of food, tell stories, and then in my family, we like to dance. have fun when we're together for Kwanzaa and at the end of the night we get a small present. My own drum? Wow! Hmm, did you notice the wonderful blending of traditional red, green, and black in the Kwanzaa centerpiece? Well, how could I miss it, Miss Happy Tree? <sighs> I've never been one to speak ill of another, but really, may I be frank with you? Well, please do. That would be excruciating. Oh, in all of my ghostly travels, I have never met anyone as fussy, rude, and out of sorts as you. Well, Carol, may I be frank with you? Of course. Well, that's the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. 